Welcome back to back to the good life folks. Uh, we've got some jobs to do today. We are actually going to sort the shed out today. Um, we're just about to feed the ewes. Well guys, we're just about to feed the ewes. We've got one that's a little lame. So we will just have a quick catch up of her. <laughs> just that one there. Oh yeah, no, this one here, this on this yeah. with the orange bottom. All right today. Oh yeah, that's fine. Perfect. We've uh, perhaps the lamb was just lay a bit funny on her. Um, but yeah, guys can get stampeded on and have his foot stood on and all sorts instead of me for a change. <laughs> As you can see, they're all starting to look rather large across the top. Well, lovely and healthy. You can just start to see they're just bagging up a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Starting to get a bit rounded there. Um, I actually think you can see it a little bit more on Betty Boo. You can see her teeth as well. So they're all signs that they're all getting fairly close now. Um, in two weeks time they'll be coming down and going into the barn if the weather stays good as well so we've just come up to check all the other sheep hello sheep um, there should be 30 in this field but there's only 28 the other two are they know where they shouldn't be this week yeah. in here with the rest of them that's somebody else's field, so now we need to figure out how we're going to get these two back. So, yeah, see if we can find where they got out first and see if we can get them back to the same hole. a lot they were just stood watching <laughs> love show <Shoshi. laughs> well too bad we haven't got two altars oh Do you want me to hold champagne? Do you want me to touch your side? Have you got your recording? We're recording. Uh. Whee! Don't do it again. <laughs> I've got it. Okay, so <laughs> that's one drama. I leave Gareth to check the sheep for one day. Out of seven, I do them all week long. We have no problems. I'll leave Freya, Hi. you and your father to do it. Anyway, on the plus side, they did, however, get into this field. I don't know if you can see in the distance, there is a great big group of sheep. Uh, at least 150. Do you think 150? Probably. Anyway, and our two stayed here. So that was quite lucky that we managed to shove them down there. And one of them is actually, well, actually they were both halter trained, so that was okay, isn't it? Yeah. yeah there we go. I've really never run so much in my life. Morning, Clover. How are you? Right. Gareth uh, is just gonna oh. put some screws in here, some longer screws, because it keeps popping up. And that will hold these sheets in because these sheets, as you saw in the previous bit of recording, have all popped up off from where they should be really. So it's still got a slope in it, quite slope, so the water runs down. So that's going to hold that in place and hopefully stop the bombs from popping off. And we just need to put these pieces of wood in to fill the gaps. Because obviously that just doesn't stick it thick enough. Make 
make do and men. That seems to be our bit of the motto lately, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So that is that put on there. We've just added a couple of extra bits of wood in the bath so that it uh, keeps it nice and tight, keeps the tins in that bit closer. And part one of the shed secure. Bush. Go on, Bray. So, as you can see, there's a couple of little holes there, one there, and I don't know whether you'll be able to see, but there's a couple in that roof sheet just there. So, what we're going to do, I bought the silicon gun up, we're just going to squirt a bit of sealant in them. Hopefully, that just gets us through lamin to store this happening, which is where that has dripped down. So, yeah. Get on to the next job. So what we've done is we've relocated that post from there to there to make that a nice square area and should make it more useful. We'll have a gate across the front and then fence along there. Be a nice useful little sheep pen. So yeah, another job ticked off for this along with, I don't know if we said, holes in the roof. They're all patched up. So um, we put some tins across there just to stop the rain coming in. That one there is not as bad because it's a much smaller gap, whereas that was obviously much bigger. So that's another job done. So that's it, pen's all set up. The idea is we've only got seven in the first lot, so they will come into this area here. And then as they lamb, the mothering up pens will get made up either across there or across there, we'll see. And then we've got another little pen over here, which will be sort of the nursery pen, which that will get made bigger as more go in there. Um, just makes it easier so that when you're looking on the camera, which is another thing that we still need to do, put that up. When you're looking on the camera, you can see the ewes that have already had lambs and the ewes that haven't had lambs separately, because last year, we were looking on the camera and you couldn't tell if it was a ewe that had just lambed or a ewe that had lambed previously or it, it, yeah it, it was very confusing so hopefully this year keeping them separate once they've lambed that will uh, alleviate that yes help clear that little now we just need some mystery up. yeah 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 well we're about two weeks away from bringing them into the shed yeah and then it'll be a week, two weeks from when they come into the shed that they'll start lambing. So. A week? We've only got a week. Yeah, about a week. Dates. Yeah, about a week, sorry. They're very precise right, these days. Right. Yeah. Get them right. Get them right, yeah. So. Sack you if you don't. <laughs> yeah. So, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Ring the little bell. Ding-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling -a -ling. And we'll see you on the next one.